what's going on everybody welcome back to a brand new video oh my god yellow light we made it guys what is good happy new year's everyone the day that i'm filming this is literally the first day of the year so i hope everybody is starting the year off nice we're starting the year off fresh today i'm running everything solo dolo so you guys are with me today the main goal of today's video is to figure out what is wrong with my two front wheels for my lexus ls430 so if you guys didn't know yes they have been leaking and they've been leaking for the past few months i think about 20 psi every single week so i would constantly have to fill it up and with stretch tires like that you really want to minimize any leakage because you definitely don't want to de-bead when you're driving since my air suspension is getting put on soon i figured it would be a good idea to make sure that everything is set before we throw these wheels back on because i've been on the stockies for a minute so we're gonna go pick up my wheels real quick and then we're gonna go drop it off i'm currently at 87,000 miles on this and this is a 2005 lexus ls 430 uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I'm kind of tired of that. I can't wait to be on air. Quick little story about this air suspension. So it's been coming in certain batches. So we had the management come in with one batch. We had the front struts come in with another batch. The only thing that we were missing were the rear struts and that's why we haven't installed anything yet. So when I went to UPS the other day, it said that the air suspension arrived and when I went to pick it up at the location, they said that they didn't have it there, but it said it got delivered. So I don't know what is going on. They told me that I should just wait a couple days just to make sure uh, uh, uh. just to make sure that it's there and it's not anywhere else so that kind of got me worried a little bit i'm like yo it's a big box you guys can't miss it it's huge and it weighs a lot the guy was like no i don't see it back here so let's go pick these wheels up i haven't seen them in a while they're gonna look musty i already know Whenever I work on my car, I love to keep like, you know, extra rags and stuff like that in the back. If you're putting wheels and tires in the back seat, you don't want to mess up your seats, right? I got to spread all this out, make sure everything looks nice so I don't ruin the beautiful interior. Look at this thing. Freaking 15 years old and it still looks brand new. We're all padded up and good to go. I think that's about as good as it's going to get, to be honest. Here goes the first one. Sheesh, it's been a minute since I've seen this thing. This is the culprit right here, man. So I'm not sure if it's the stem. I don't know, it could be the hardware, it could be the tire. I'm not too sure about this one. And the other one's leaking at the same pace, so both of them are having issues. Super dirty, super faded looking. I will get them polished and they'll look super nice, but we need to fix that leak. But before we do that, I'm gonna make sure I fill it with some air because it's been a minute since I filled these up. And I mean, they haven't de or anything, but I might as well just fill it up so the guy's able to see if any air comes out. Max PSI for these tires is 50. So I'm gonna guess that these things must be like at 10. So what are you guys guessing? Let's see. Bro, look. You guys see that? I'm gonna load it up to like 40 or 45. If you guys are wondering where to get this, Shout out to Costco, survival kit. The subwoofer in this LS430 blew a while back and I forgot to mention it to you guys. I think I told Instagram, but yeah, the subwoofer, done. Super freaking annoying. This piece right here. So my factory eight inch sub was toast. So I decided to upgrade to a JL Audio. This one is an 8WV3. And I heard some good reviews of this. So I figured, you know what, let's swap the stock out for this one i always wanted a jl a big one though like a 12 w7 i believe but uh this one is going to fit in the stock hole so it's going to be perfect this one's a shallow sub so it shouldn't hit crazy but it should be a big improvement from what we have right now because honestly it's super hard to listen to music with that sub just flapping around so this will be going in there very soon we're on the way to the wheel shop right now but if you guys are wondering what we're doing with the coilovers on this ls i'm going to be selling it so if you guys are interested or you know somebody that may be interested tell them to dm me on instagram i'm not looking for much honestly i'm trying to get like 350 out of them the only thing is that the rear passenger side is stuck so it came like that from the factory brand new it came stuck um, i took it to a few mechanics and they believe that the the threading is messed up on it or something so if you guys want it and maybe you could fix it and flip it be my guest or if you just want it to ride on then just order another one I guess I don't know but 
I'm selling it for Jug. I think I put maybe less than like 2,000 miles on it. They got installed not too long ago. So yeah, they're fairly new, but anyways, if you guys are interested in that, you know where to hit me up, baby. I think once we get the bags on here with the wheel setup, this thing is going to look mighty fine. I mean, you guys already know, your boy's been into the VIP builds. It all started off with my Lexus IS250. If you guys remember that, comment down below. That car was crazy. I learned so many lessons with that car. Whenever people ask me what shop I take my cars to, honestly, bro, I just look at Yelp, Yelp it, make sure the reviews are good, and give them a shot. If you guys like them, then you like them. If not, then keep it moving. This is Barry. Hi, I'm at the back door right now, dropping off the okay. two wheels. Give me a minute, I'll be right there. All right, sounds good, thanks. Good to go, about to drop these off. Big wheels, that's where we're at. Tires have been dropped off, so that is done for the day, and I'm not sure if it's just me, guys, but this weather has had me feeling crazy sleepy lately. <sighs> so I think I'm about to go take a nap. I'm gonna link up with you guys tomorrow to get a quick update on that air suspension, so see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone, just woke up. Still have the Christmas tree up in the house. But let's go ahead and see what's good with that UPS package. Hopefully it's there, I'm praying. I need y'all to pray for me, please. Sheesh, man. We finally got to the bottom of this package situation. I know I left you guys the past couple days, but we finally got it. They sent it to the wrong place, so I ended up staying there for a bit, and then it finally arrived at my location over here. So we finally have everything to complete the LS build, which I'm super excited for. I was praying that we didn't lose the last piece, because that would have sucked, but let's go ahead and open this up real quick. Again, shout out to the homie Luke from Eliminate for helping me out with this. I really appreciate it, bro. And again, if you guys are interested in my coils, hit me up through IGDM. Or or if you're really professional, you could go ahead and email me. Woo! I am so excited. Here we go, LS430 kit, rear application. Exactly what we've been waiting for. Literally this shipment came in different pieces. So we had the management come in, we had the tank come in, we had the front struts, all that stuff. And now we have the final piece to the puzzle. Oh yeah, these things are nice, man. This is my first time on airlift. For the other air setup that I went on, it was D2, and I gotta say, man, if you ever plan on doing anything air, you gotta do it right the first time. Get quality parts and make sure you get it installed by the right places. If you skip out on the quality parts, you are going to run into issues that are gonna cost you way more in the future, and that's what I've learned, man. From now on, quality systems only. I haven't had any issues with my Tesla, and I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna have any issues with this. A lot of my friends are running airlift, and they've only had great experiences with it but of course if i run into any issues i'll let you guys know as soon as possible anyways y'all that's going to conclude this video i know it was quick i know it was random but i wanted to keep you guys updated with the ls430 because a lot of you guys have been asking about this build and what's going on so now all of you guys know i'll see y'all very soon for the next video which should be the install and maybe the reveal so sit tight guys i'll see you guys very soon it's your boy sneakerhead in the bay i'm out peace blueberry burberry button up Ten skin mixed race but a cup Canada weather got a bundle up I'm tryna work, she hit my phone, she wanna Whoa Too bad was you know they wrong